See these five habitable exoplanets right here? Yeah, that's a lie. Let me show you why there's a lot more going on with these planets. If you've seen headlines like NASA finds Earth's twin, don't buy into the hype. They're all in the habitable zone, which just means the planet is the right distance from its star for liquid water to potentially exist. But that's only part of the story. Our first exoplanet is in the right zone, but it's over twice the size of Earth, probably a gas planet with no solid surface or a deep water world with insane pressures. No chance for life on Kepler 22b. The second exoplanet is closer to Earth's size, but freezing. We're talking 120 degrees Fahrenheit cold than Earth. Life can't survive on Kepler 186f. The third exoplanet is worse than Mars. It orbits a flaring red dwarf that likely vaporized any atmosphere it had. Plus, one side scorched, the other side frozen. Life is unlikely on Proxima b. And then we have a star system with seven planets. Three in the habitable zone, but their star? Another red dwarf. It likely stripped away any atmosphere those planets had. The Trappist-1 system is unfit for life. Finally, this one even made headlines for possibly having a life-linked chemical. But here's the deal. It's more like Neptune, an ice giant, or ocean world. K218b is not Earth 2.0.